Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Devine, and today I am continuing on with my planning series. I have four kids ages 9 to 13, and I'm going to be talking about how I create their independent work checklist today. So this is the work that I want them to do that they are doing at their grade level and I'm hoping they can do most of it independently but of course things like math and some language arts I do need to help out with but basically I create a checklist for them to complete each day or each week rather I give them a whole week's worth and we sort of establish how many they should do each day but today's video is just showing you how I create that checklist. Now, if you haven't watched the previous video where I talk about calculating the number of lessons and things like that, you might want to watch that. I'm going to link that here above so that you can check that out if you haven't seen that one yet. So this is the continuation from that video. Once I've calculated the number of lessons each child needs to do in each workbook or subject, then this is what I do. I create their independent studies checklist. So let me show you how I do that. So today I'm going to be doing a continuation of how I turn this sheet here that I did my last video and I turn it into a student independent work checklist. So I'm just going to show you that today. Um, if you have, hear any noises in the background, there are people walking around and things like that. So it just might be a little noisier than my normal video. But I didn't think this would take too long. So I just wanted to quickly make this video for you and just let you know how I convert this into our student weekly checklist. So I'm gonna be showing you my page here. This is a different child, not the one that I did in my last video, but basically I did the same thing. I figured out how often I want to be doing each of these subjects, and then I make this checklist that I'm going to show you here. All right, so here is my going into fifth grade son. And I've said before that I generally only schedule out four days a week at the most. We do a co-op on Fridays and that can be just a catch-up day. So whatever we don't finish, we do there. And I've said before, according to my checklist here, teaching textbooks, we do it four times a week and we can get through that if we do it four times a week without a problem. And then he is doing Spelling UC. He's currently finishing up level B and will be starting level C. And just from this past year, I've decided that three times a week is enough for that. So we don't complete a full week of work because it is a five lesson week, but we are going to be doing it just at this pace. It's the pace that he's at. And so we're just going to do this three times a week. Now the language arts that we're using this year is going to be this one here. And there are 180 lessons, but they're pretty short lessons. So we're going to be doing two lessons each time. And so if we do that three times a week, we will be able to get through that without a problem. So I'm going to schedule that for three times a week. And then we have Explode the Code, and I try to get through around three books each year. So that puts us at this because he is working on one of the books. So we have 268 pages to complete. We do two pages a day. So we have 134 segments that we need to do. So that puts us at four times a week for Explode the Code. So I'm going to, over here, I kind of like to put the ones that we do a little more often at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a row, we're gonna move explode the code up there. And so this sheet that you're seeing right here is one that we used last year and it just helps me be reasonable in how much I'm adding. I cannot add a whole lot more for him in the upcoming school year because the amount of work he's doing already here has been a challenge for him. So I can't add too much more than I have already here. So we move that up there because that's going to be four times a week. We have language arts three times a week. Handwriting, I have 150 lessons I would like him to do. And this is because we're going to be repeating one of the levels and I'm going to have him do two pages a day. So I said four times a week here, but I think with the amount of work we have on here, I'm going to just do that three times a week. And he's going to be doing two pages a day in that repeat level that he's doing. So we have that already here on our checklist showing that. Then we have typing two times a week and we have time for math facts two times a week. So I'm just gonna set that up as other here and it's going to be alternating keyboard time for math facts, keyboarding time for math facts. We have a silent reading here. 
Now we're going to be changing how we do silent reading in the upcoming school year. I'm going to be specifically giving him certain reading to do instead of just letting him read whatever he wants for the 15 minutes. So I'm going to change this a little bit here. I'm gonna take this off. This is not really school related. This was just something we needed a reminder of. I'm gonna go up to his sister's one and we are going to do this. So he's going to be responsible for reading five times a week and he's going to be reading a book that I've assigned. All right, so there we go. We've changed that set up a little bit there. All right, so this is going to be his checklist for the upcoming school year. I have been working more closely with my boys the past few years, but I think it's time for them to start doing this a little more on their own. So with this checklist, hopefully he'll be able to just see what he has to do each day and just go through and work through all the things that he has on this checklist. So I have another boy here, so I'll have to be doing the same thing with him. I'll have to go through and take a look at the new school year and how I need to change this checklist. And just so you know, I do make adjustments to this checklist throughout the year, even weekly sometimes, when we're feeling like there's a bit too much work or if he could handle a little more, I'll decide which one I wanna add more, or maybe I'll take away one of these explode the codes if it's just feeling like it's too much. So we have our goals or what we'd like to accomplish, but if we don't finish everything, that's okay. It's just, this is kind of just a starting ground in our plans to start with. Now, if you wanna see what my daughter's schedule looks like after watching our last video, we did this daughter here. And so she had, let me just show you that quickly over here. So here was her chart that we worked on last time. And so from this chart here, I made this checklist here. So we have teaching textbooks four times a week. I decided we're going to do Math Mammoth four times a week, probably just a page. It's just supplemental for us, but she can handle an extra math page. We have IEW, which I schedule out separately, and I said I would be making a video about that at some point. And then I have a loop schedule for her. So if you look over here, all these other things here on this chart, including a few that we didn't talk about, I have personal project and written narration. I put those on to a loop and I schedule those out on a loop like this. So if you want to see how I create a loop schedule, that is the next week's topic. So come on back next week. All right, so that's how I create my students' independent work checklist. I hope it is helpful. I will link in the description box below a link to the ones that I have created for my own students so that you can go in and adapt as you would like for your own if that is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you like videos like this, please don't forget to give me a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified of when future videos are coming up. My next video is going to be talking about our loop subjects and how I use loop schedules within my homeschool to kind of make sure I cover all my bases. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to stick around. Oh,